Yes, guys. Yes, people. Welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. Welcome back to another match day vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed the last one. The absolute scenes at Tottenham away as we smashed them 3 0 at home, turned it back into three point lane for yet another year. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it, check out the previous vlog that was out a few days ago as well. But it's a new game. It's Chelsea versus Aston Villa. I say a new game. We just played these a lot last week at the bridge in the exact same fixture. But it is Chelsea versus Villa in the Carabao Cup third round. I'm expecting heavy rotations from both sides. Both teams have big games on Saturday. Surprisingly, we both play at 12.30 in different matches. Aston Villa face Manchester United. Chelsea, we've got the champions. Manchester City is champions of Europe versus champions of England. So I'm expecting a lot of rotation in this game but that breeds new opportunities there's going to be a lot of fringe players players that haven't had a lot of game time this season who will have the chance to impress now in front of everyone at Stamford Bridge so it should be an exciting game because it will be the same feeling for both sides Aston Villa will be making heavy rotations so shall we so it'll be a very interesting match to see let's just hope we get through I won't even lie if we get knocked out it is what it is because I know the quarterfinals are going to be a bit techy when the Club World Cup comes in and everything. But let's hope we go out there. Let's hope we perform excellently and let's hope we get another win and continue the unbeaten run that we've been on to start the Premier League season. Smash the like and subscribe button to Chelsea Fan TV if you haven't done so already. Check out my personal channel, Carefree Lewis G. And let's get straight into the vlog. Right, half time, still nil nil. Um, what to make of that first half? I think going forward, I think both sides have been poor to be honest. Villa have only capitalised on our own mistakes in defence. With us, Ziyech and Werner just aren't working up top together. They look so disjointed. When we get to the final third, just not making the right decisions at the right time. Decision making has been absolutely poor. But it's not all been bad. I think Ruben Loftus cheek has been brilliant. Reese James has been great. Um, ben Chilwell's looked progressive when he's been on the ball too. 
but there's too many players who are either still taking time to click into gear or they're just having poor performances. Sal's been here or there this entire first half. A lot of fouls of his end and dispossessions too. N'Golo Kante's been at his best. The same thing you expect from N'Golo Kante. But I think we need to change the formation in the second half. Maybe go back to three up top. Or play somebody else off Werner because Ziyech just didn't work, working. But I can't put all on Ziyech too because Werner's been poor with what he's been done on the ball too. So I don't know what to expect of the second half. Probably we need a full change up in attack. Let's hope we don't have to bring Lukaku on. I'd rather rest this game. But let's see what happens in the second half. Cut the trails. Oh! 
going straight to penalties. Yeah. As soon as we had the lead, we dropped our momentum in like 10 minutes. And after that, Villa had a good run of pressure. In the last 10, 15 minutes, Chelsea tried to rally, but we just couldn't find the way through. And now it's down to luck and technique. Let's see what happens in the shootout. Perfect time for another Kepa Masterclass in the penalty shootout. You know the drill, let's get into it. Thank you. 